Welcome again. Thanks for watching this video. Um, we're going to get kind of into editing your site and getting into the back end, which is also known as the administration side. Um, you're going to hear me refer to the back end and the front end. And that's a great uh, analogy to look at like a store. You know, you've got a front door and a back door. Well, the front end, of course, is this right here. Everything that we're seeing which is of course what your users would see or what any any internet user would see and this is known as the front end the back end which is what we want to go into now is the administration area where you administer all your changes to your site now there's two ways to get into your back end uh, wherever the directory is that your blog is installed put your cursor after the last forward slash and type in WP as in WordPress dash admin and if you hit enter it'll take you to a login page well let me log out here there it'll take you to a page that looks like this if you have the default installation set up there is generally an option located at the bottom under this meta META and it says login. If you click login, it'll also take you to the same area. I would just recommend that for now, if you can, just remember to type in WP dash admin because as we'll see later, you'll have the option to remove that area that says meta and the links within it. So once you're into your login area, you should have a username and password. And you simply enter those and click login. And when you do, this screen will pop up. Now, it depends on what version of uh, WordPress you have, and they've actually gone through a lot of changes. Um, which are all good changes of course it's an open source platform so the community is always updating upgrading it making it better so this is what you'll see when you initially go into a fresh installation or this is also yeah, known as your dashboard where you can make all the changes that you need from it's basically the home page of your administration area and basically what this tutorial series is going to cover is at a glance kind of incorporates uh, a couple different things but they're all coming from this left hand side here we've got posts media links pages comments appearance plugins users tools and settings and again uh, older WordPress versions actually have these across the top okay and the newer one now has these across the left hand side um, but that's what we're going to go over is each one of these sections and if you notice each one of these sections has subsections within them. So for example the first section we're going to go over is going to be called settings and as you can see we've got one two three four five six seven eight and nine different setting options within the settings category. But to make sure that I've got enough time to go thoroughly into each subsection of the settings category, which is actually where you want to start, even though it's located at the bottom, um, I'm going to cut this video short here and start a new one in the next section. So thanks for watching. This one just kind of shows you how to log in and get to your admin area. And the next video, we're going to go more into depth about uh, the settings.